Germiston is the fifth largest city in South Africa and is situated in Gauteng province. Administratively, it forms the major part of the city of Akuruleni, Metropolitan Municipality, since the latter's establishment in 2000. It functions as the municipal seat of Akuruleni, hosting the municipal council and administration. Germiston was established in the early days of the gold rush, when two prospectors, John Jack from the farm of Germiston near Glasgow in the United Kingdom and August Simmer from Varka in Germany, struck pay dirt on the farm of Jelensfontein. Both men made fortunes and the town sprang up two kilometers from the Simmer and Jack mine named after Jack's father's farm in the United Kingdom. In 1921, the world's largest gold refinery, the Rand Refinery, was established at Germiston. 70% of the Western world's gold passes through this refinery today. Although gold mining gradually wound down in Germiston, to the point that by the end of the 20th century, it was no longer a mining center. The Rand Refinery remains as busy as ever. Today, the Germiston economy is founded on the single largest and most sophisticated industrial complex in Africa. PPC Limited was established in 1892 as the Eerste Cement Fabrieken Bepaard. The history is closely linked to the growth and development of South Africa and has produced cement for many of the country's most famous landmarks and construction projects. AFROX is an abbreviation for African Oxygen and was established by Alan Lewisage in 1927. The oxyacetylene that is used in cutting torches to cut steel has contributed in no small way to the manufacturing industry in South Africa. Add to that the welding rods and fluxes and you start to understand the impact AFROX has had toward the growth of African mining and related industries on the continent. As a major supplier of oxygen to the health industry, it has literally contributed to the health of the African economy for nearly one century. Console has existed since May 1946, when it was incorporated as Consolidated Glass Works Limited and set about building a flagship factory in Wadeville, Germiston. After 60 years of activity, Console remains a resolute and robust brand, delivering superior glass packaging and impacting positively on people's lives daily. Consol enhances people's lives through being South Africa's most resolute, environmentally friendly creator of superior quality glass products. of Eastgate starts in 1976. Johannesburg Southdale was opened in 1962, Hyde Park in 1969, Sandton City in 1973 and Crestor in 1976. Plans for Eastgate were much more grandiose. Proposed was the 90,000 meter behemoth the likes of which had never been seen before on the continent of Africa, and which at the time 
dwarfed Sandton City and every other centre in the country. It was hailed as the largest shopping centre in the Southern Hemisphere, and the Financial Mail wrote a week before its opening that it is certainly the largest and most exclusive upmarket shopping centre SA has seen. Eastgate was the catalyst for the development of a new exclusive upmarket residential area, if not the most exclusive residential area in Gauteng, namely at Fitview. The Bedford Mall can be equated to the renowned American muscle car, the Mustang. It is a classic, yet it has undergone changes in step with modernized society but will always retain its status as being a sought after powerhouse and a highly valued classic. Bedford is one of Gauteng's premier fashion and shopping destinations in the heart of Bedford View, offering its discerning shoppers a unique, elegant, European-inspired shopping, living, working and dining experience. Always with its finger on the pulse, Bedford Centre constantly meets the demands of its affluent clients. This elegant mall brings you choice with 170 chic stores and is seamlessly integrated with the exclusive apartment buildings in its immediate surround. Bedford ensures that the residents of Bedford View maintain a unique and convenient lifestyle. It has certainly contributed to the good property values in Bedford View. The standard modus operandi with which multi-million rand properties are developed in the residential area is the result of the entrepreneurial foresight of Simmer and Jack and was reinforced by the establishment of Rand Gold and later realized through the visionary establishment of Eastgate and the Bedford Malls. It is in fact a residential success story of note. Businessmen, professionals, corporates and the working man and woman combined to ensure that high-end properties become the norm in Bedford View. Bedford View today may be equaled in both lifestyle quality and exclusivity. But if the residents have their way, it will never be surpassed. Following its acquisition, effective 1 April 2017, Marion Roberts Construction was renamed and rebranded as Concor. The acquisition signaled an historic moment in the company's history. Concor is now a leading black-owned infrastructure and building services business. Based in South Africa and benefits from the 115 and 69 year legacies of Marion Roberts Construction and Concor respectively. Their head office is proudly situated in Bedford View. Pitt & Pay was founded in 1967 as a family controlled business with four small stores in the Western Cape. Pitt & Pay listed on the JSE three years later. The founder of the chain is Harry Golden. 
Raymond Ackerman purchased the small chain of supermarkets from Golden and went on to develop Pick and Pay into South Africa's largest supermarket group. The residents of Bedford View is fortunate to be able to educate their children in two of the top private schools in South Africa. St. Benedict's Catholic College is a landmark in Bedford View and is the bedrock upon which the community rely for quality education. St. Benedict's is a Catholic school for boys that provides a holistic, gospel and values-based education, centered on the example of Jesus Christ and based on the four pillars of academics, religion, sports and the arts. Our boys use their talents to serve the world, its people and the kingdom of God. Today, nearly 1,400 boys study and play on a piece of land in Bedford View that more than 60 years ago consisted of small holdings, the largest of which was used for training and kindling greyhounds. At that time, Bedford View was semi-agricultural and sparsely populated. St. Benedict's has a proud academic tradition and consistently produces outstanding results in the IEB matriculation examinations. They have maintained a 100% matric pass rate for close on 45 years. At the junior preparatory and preparatory school levels, extramural activities comprise both sporting and cultural activities with a healthy emphasis on participation, confidence building and personal development. Boys participate eagerly in a wide range of sporting activities, including athletics, basketball, cricket, cross country, hockey, rowing, rugby, soccer, swimming, tennis and water polo. Since its inception in January 2003, Redham House, Bedford View, has proven itself to be a highly successful institution, offering uncompromising educational excellence, thereby benefiting the Bedford View area and surrounding areas. From their first matric group attending Redham, students have performed with distinction and have achieved an unbroken 100% matric pass rate each year. Redham House provides an education which focuses on developing individuals who are capable of showing initiative, discovering their own strengths and talents and pursuing their own dreams. The creative arts and sport feature strongly in a Redham House education. The aim is to create a stimulating and nurturing environment in which each child has the opportunity to develop his or her full potential